Welcome to a new vlog. Yes, I have the silly Christmas hat on my head because Christmas is coming up and I have a special project to share today. I designed this smart Christmas tree decoration thing uh, which has 11 RGB LEDs and an ESP32 that enables it to be integrated into a uh, smart home automation system via Wi-Fi. For this year, I wanted to add a personal touch to my Christmas tree and so I have started thinking about what features I would have on this decoration. Lately, I've been playing a lot with Home Assistant and so the obvious path was to uh, put an ESP32 in there so that I could control it from a distance. Next, I thought about making it battery powered, but considering I wanted to use at least 10 RGB LEDs and I also had the ESP32 in there, which is kind of power hungry, a kind of battery needed to run the whole system for a decent amount of hours before needing a recharge would have made the whole thing too heavy. So I instead went with USB power because I always have a socket available at the bottom of the tree to power the tree lights. So these were kind of the main decisions uh, that shaped this uh, project and the rest is just support circuitry. I have a linear regulator in here, a 1117 series 3.3 volt fixed output that's powering the ESP32 from the VUSB 5 volt rail. The LEDs are SK6812 EC20, which means they come in a tiny 2x2mm package and since these are not rated for 3.3V operation, I have them powered directly from the 5V rail with the appropriate voltage level translator for the data signal coming into the LEDs. Uh, that's coming at 3.3 volts and it needs to be translated to 5 volts for the LEDs. I know you guys are gonna leave comments saying these LEDs run just fine at 3.3 volts and you wouldn't need a level translator in that case, but if you want to build something right, you need to follow data sheets and design for specified voltage ratings. In terms of programming interface, I opted not to include the transistors needed for IO0 and enable pin of the ESP32 because I typically use a USB to serial adapter board that has those and generates the required sequence for programming externally. So this was a decision taken for cost and complexity reduction on this board. I wanted to have as few as possible components in here. After having the schematic ready, I started doing the PCB design and I opted for a tree shape here. Obviously, if you feel like doing a different shape, you can just grab the schematic and design your own layout. I will link uh, everything in a zip archive in the description below the video. The sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, manufactured these boards and I was surprised how fast they could get them made and shipped to me. It was probably something like a week, which for me is unexpected since my packages usually need one week for shipping only. And they're running all kinds of special offers this month, so check out their website, you might get a good deal on your next PCB project. I opted for a uh, standard uh, green solder mask on these boards. I thought this would uh, work well with a 3 uh, design and uh, I got the gold finish which uh, I think also looks pretty nice on this uh, design and same as always uh, the quality is top notch with PCB way. The idea of this design is to have uh, only this side visible and I tried not to place too many tracks on this side and the uh, way uh, the ESP32 module and its uh, antenna is placed I know it's not optimal, you generally want some clearance around the antenna but that wasn't possible with this design and honestly I think it will work fine because usually the wireless router is not very far away from where this will be sitting. Then I did a bit of manual pick and placing after which I uh, baked these in the reflow oven and here is the result. I think it looks pretty good and there are two ways in which you can run this. The first option is to just uh, load some Arduino code that flashes the LEDs with different sequences. I would call this the standalone working mode but myself I'm going to run this with the second option which is uh, flashing them with ESP Home and then integrating uh, this into my home assistant system. That way I can control this from my home automation software uh, which has a phone app uh, and I can also control it from the Apple Home app and all of those features. There is a tiny hole in the uh, star at the uh, top of the tree and you can insert a thin wire in there and that will help you attach it to a branch in your Christmas tree. 
Uh, if you use a uh, thin black wire for USB power and you route it carefully behind the Christmas tree branches, you can't really see it. And here is how it looks when it's installed in my Christmas tree. I think it looks pretty nice, uh, especially in the uh, evening. And really the possibilities are endless here. You can design custom animations. You can play with the settings of the existing animations or just consider this as your uh, ESP32 RGB LED development board and you can play with this and flash uh, whatever firmware you consider useful. Now because I made five of these I will be installing one into my own three and I will be uh, offering the remaining four on Tindy for the cost of uh, $20 a piece plus shipping. Consider this a way of supporting the channel and also getting something nice in return. You will not be receiving this before Christmas because I am shipping these via standard mail uh, but they'll get there eventually. So grab one while they last, there will only be four available and uh, this video will be released first to my Patreon supporters so I'm hoping there will be some left for, gen for the general public as well uh, but that's it, once they're gone, they're gone. These are limited edition. The design of these is open source so if you would like to make your own Check out the links uh, to the GitHub repository and uh, go ahead, make your own, make some changes and also share them under the same license. I have also submitted this to the uh, PCB Way uh, Christmas Project Contest, so that will also be linked in the description below. As usual, I would appreciate your uh, feedback in the comments below. Thank you for watching this and I will see you next time.